All right, what is up, YouTube? We are back. We just finished up uh, Genius, a Kanye trilogy, and now we're going to review it. We're going to talk a little about it. Um, just the entire documentary. Just just a pleasant, really pleasant surprise. Very pleasant surprise, especially for me, because, you know, I, yeah. unlike you, I don't listen to his music. I never really got into his fashion. Yeah. So to see this was kind of nice. It was like a little Honestly, his fashion, I'm just going to say a little off track. His fashion would it fits your style though. Yeah, it's maybe very simplistic. Very video. simplistic. Like yeah. it's very like minimalistic. Yeah, but, I love minimalism. So there yeah. you go. Maybe I gotta yeah, do comfort. some Google. Yeah. 100%. But there you go. no, no, I just think. Um, but like back to the doc, like just uh, you know what I mean. Just uh, it's one of the most creative documentaries I've seen. Oh, like the last really good one I seen was the Last Dance, but that was different. Like this one, like he just you just see how much of a genius he is, and that showed with how the documentary was made with obviously Cootie. I love him. I love the director. Kudo is fucking... No, no, but I just love, like, Kanye allowing Kudi to have such a huge part of this. Because Kanye obviously okayed that, right? It's yeah. him in this, right? Yeah. Kudi's footage, yes, but Kanye obviously is in it. So he has to consent to that. And just him allowing for Kudi to be such a central part. I love that so much. Mm -hmm. Usually directors don't get enough love, guys, who orchestrate this stuff. Oh, yeah. And uh, he really let him go creative as fuck on it. See, I like because as much as this was a story about Kanye, Kanye yeah. Well, also a story about Cootie too. Yeah, so his boy kind of right? his boy bringing I, helping I him like show that. it. I yeah. like that though. Yeah, yeah. And you were mentioning off camera. He was talking to me about how you know Kanye is like kind of like at the bottom of his heart, like he's he's a loving guy, right? Yeah, yeah, he just yeah, wants yeah, his, yeah. He just wants everyone to be like you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. positive and a good state of mind. Yeah, right? no, no. Yeah. And so like on that note, I think like you know him allowing like like you mentioned like him allowing Cootie to do all this stuff like mm -hmm. put like not only like you know him in the documentary like all about him right yeah but also like himself like hoodie himself like he was allowed to put so much of his own life yeah uh great move i think overall yeah so just yeah yeah great man no i know and just like uh, like despite what anybody thinks of kanye who's watching this and everything it's just like you know what i mean like you could just like there's like i was telling you off camera too Saying like there's scum of the fucking earth, but like yeah, I believe Kanye deep down. No, like, he's he, not scum. He's he's, not he's scum. a. I, I I believe like he was just. I feel like he was in a like for a while. Yeah, he was in a state of mind that just wasn't. Like, well, is as shown as Donda's death really fucked him up. Did, she kept he, him grounded. Right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I feel like that one hundred percent. She mm. was the one that like kept him, like like you mentioned like she was his rock. Man. His rock, yes, like, yeah, yeah. The one that he had to hold on to it, like the fucking overwhelming flow of that was his life. Yeah, yeah, I but feel that. There's so many people like that. And it's not fair because like us, there's so many people we even know mm -hmm. that go crazier than Kanye, but it's not on the whole world to see. Not, that's what I'm saying, right? Yeah, no one to scrutinize. It's what I'm saying. So it's just like, yeah, so he even like, said he's bipolar, right? Like yeah. he has bipolar, right? And so that's real shit, man. Like, mm -hmm. and people, oh no, hundred percent. There's probably shit. family members we have that have bipolar. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? It's sometimes even diagnosed, undiagnosed. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just it's real shit, man. And, and unfortunately, he has to suffer with the world watching, right? Which kind of yeah. sucks. And and you know what? I think we were talking about this, but uh, the media really doesn't make anything better. Man, always They're, worse. Always worse. But I I was expecting. So when mm -hmm. when you told me about this documentary, I was expecting to go into it and it'd be like, oh my god, here's Kanye as a baby. Look how perfect uh, what a child he is. Like an <laughs> angel. But you know, it literally didn't beat around the bush. It was just it's like, like, this is what happened. This is what happened here. This is what <laughs> happened here. Look at, like, this guy literally got beat down right here. Like, down to the fucking core. You know, with the accident, with his mother, yes. like, everything. Like, even, like, you know, when he was making, like, those statements and then he, he retracted them and then he yeah. said, like, you know, I was being, like, you know, led the wrong way. Mm -hmm. right? and, and, like, it doesn't, like even even like when he got really big, right? Man. And then he kind of like forgot about like Cootie and like all of his like kind of roots. Where he came from, right? Right. And like it didn't beat around. The, I loved that. This that that's probably like one of the best things about this documentary. Nobody was kissing his ass. Nobody kissed his ass. And so many documentaries do that. They kiss way their too ass. much. So I, they, I, I or, respect or the fuck. They kiss their ass, or they just plain cut out all the bad parts. No, right? but I respect the fuck out of that, honestly. And Kanye realizes growth in that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, oh, it, it is what it is, what it is. But even in terms of, like, the music thing, like, obviously, you don't know, music. Like, you were wild, obviously, with his mm -hmm. creative genius, right? Like, yeah. and you were able to see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. At you're core, yeah, yeah. you're like, seeing it. Like. I'm, not, I'm not someone who typically listens to rap or, like, just that any of that, like, kind of genre, like, hip-hop, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, that kind of stuff. It's incredible, though. Like, it's incredible. No, yeah, like, but, like, obviously, I can still recognize yeah. the talent for what it, like, dude, like, yeah. that guy? No, but, like, no, but he just seems different than what you hear on the radio. Like. Oh, yeah. Not yeah, the same. Like. Yeah, not the same. Because when he's doing it like right then and there, or mm, not, like, mm. dude, it's just like, we're talking about like, 
Imagine, oh, like, we can never, never in a million years, never in a million years. And it makes sense that he's a legend, right? Yeah. Like, it just, it just yeah. makes so much deserves sense. Deserves it, he deserves it. 100%. But it's not, it's only a video, like, it's not, sorry, not video, but it's not only a documentary, as yeah. much as, uh, you know, him, uh, like, showcasing his talent. Yeah. Also a video of, like, him just trying, like, uh, it's like showing him just trying to get recognized. Yeah, exactly. Remember, like, I think the first video is pretty much just all about him trying to even get recognized. Yeah, get exactly. It's yeah, because we, we can't even forget, because we just watched like, Act 3. Like, let's not forget, like, Act 1 and 2, like, he was just trying to, like, he was just trying beat to down the himself. door. Like, he was trying to, like, to, to kick the door yeah, down. Like. I don't even, I don't, I don't even think, like, we know, like, from the video, like, you know, he's, he's, especially in Act 1, he's talking about, like, you know, I mm-hmm. just want to be at the very top. Like, you know, he, he was like, yeah. that's my goal right away. Like, yeah, I he was pretty blunt with it, yeah. yeah. And then he got there, right? But, like, you know, yeah. I bet you in his mind, like, you know, yeah. I bet you there's some nights he definitely fell asleep and he's like, you know, yeah. like. For sure, doubting sometimes, right? yeah, yeah. especially with some of the hits he got dealt with. Yeah, yeah. But then you know what? He kept on going. He got up and he kept on going. Kept yeah, hundred percent. And you know what? I think we do this every time we review something. What was your favorite moment from this? And 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 also say your favorite act of the three. For me, it was him showing through the wire to his friends and using that as part of the music video. That shit was hilarious. It was so cool and just kind of he was getting starting to get noticed at the time, right? So yeah. I think that was my favorite. And for me, Act Two is my favorite as well, just because it just seen one of my favorite albums ever called The College Dropout. And I'm a huge Drake guy too, but just The College Dropout, just one of my favorite things, and be able to just see it kind of to yeah. the top. I loved it. It's awesome. Which act was it when they were literally like sneaking into the studios and stuff? Second one. Okay, so that'd be both my favorite act, mm-hmm. and um, my favorite moment was when they show like you know Kanye didn't give a fuck. He just what like remember he his album get kept getting pushed back and yep. pushed back and then he literally had to sneak it to them. That shit right there is like pure dedication. Yeah, I know. That was my that was by far my favorite moment because I guess it, it sounds stupid, but like because you know, I'm about to graduate school soon. So like, you know, it's like for me it's like when I see stuff like that, it's like sometimes it's like in life, just to get what you where you want to get, like you have to do some absolutely wild Compared to him, we have it easy. Oh yeah. So fucking crazy. Uh, it's a whole different thing. He's at a disadvantage, and obviously as a black man, like more of a disadvantage. Yeah. So because they just want to take you down, right? Mm-hmm. Which is fucked up. But yeah, definitely that that those moments where he's li- like he literally was, had to sneak into the MTV studio and mm-hmm, all that stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's uh, some real inspiring. Like, that that's that's crazy, man. I really came out inspired from this. Yeah. I really did, honestly. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a pretty like even because of YouTube channel, like I'm always so dedicated and stuff. It made me more dedicated. This, <laughs> like, honestly, yeah. it did. Like, where you really want something, like, just fucking go for it, man. Honestly, mm-hmm. fuck everybody. What everybody thinks. Yeah, honestly. fuck them. Honestly, honestly. fuck honestly. people, man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck other people, man. Fuck everyone watching like, this. Honestly, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm honestly, kidding. no, no, we love. We all. love you guys. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. But as we wrap it up, documentary rating. The first time I'm doing this one. What do you got for this one? The entire mm. docu series. What do you got? I think I'm gonna just average out what I gave everything. Like, yeah. I think act one. I think I gave nine. Yeah. Act two, I think I gave 9.5. This one I gave 9.6. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just stick this one with a 9.5. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm the exact same as you. 9.5, incredible documentary. Um, I think it's my favorite documentary of all time, honestly. Uh, where does it stand for yours? I'll say top four. Top four. Top four. Okay. I'll say top four. A lot of good ones, uh, of course. Yeah, I'll um, say top four. So that's high praise. You didn't expect it to be anything. So no, didn't. That's awesome though, and it sneaks into your top documentaries. Let us know down below what you thought of Genius. Was it one of your favorite documentaries? It was a really fun event. I hope to see more like this. I'd love oh, to see so like Drake one day or somebody. I would love to see this like footage, unseen footage. I love this stuff. It's, it's the best. It's well, that, so amazing because it's, like, it's like it's like uh, raw. It's like we haven't raw. seen it before. Hey, we we're, were talking about the other day, uh, the other week, and I think it's like the best thing about it is it's raw. Like it's like yeah. you know, it's like that was a big not thing. not pretentious, nothing. It's just fucking yeah, how it is. You're spot on with that, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, guys, give us your rating down below of the documentary. And, uh, and you know, what do you think of Kanye? Did you, did you learn something from him? Did you like him more now? Did you like him worse? Just tell us what you think <laughs> down below as well. And thank you all for watching. If you consider, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and turn that post notification bell down below as well. If you like what you've seen from us the entire time, uh, if you have post notifications on, you'll get notified for the next ones we do. Obviously, hopefully some fun things in the works. So. But anyways, guys, we hope you all enjoyed all of our content regarding Genius, a Kanye trilogy. Uh, we enjoyed it, obviously. Uh, hope you all did as well. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. As always, we out. Peace.